paper plate traffic lights boys and girls you are going to need a paper plate some colored pencils or colored pens a ruler a pencil a pair of scissors some solid tape something circled to draw around so I've just got a plastic lid here some black paint some ribbon or some string and some white paper so the, these are the things you are going to need to make your paper plate traffic light so let's go and get ready and make. Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Some Field Time Learning. Today we're going to be learning to make a traffic light out of paper plates to go to help cars stop. So this traffic light, boys and girls, is made out of paper plates and that's what we're going to be learning to make today. So for it, I have used some paper and some colored pens to color in my lights. I have used black paint and a paper plate and some paper and I've also used some black ribbon boys and girls. So this is what we're going to be making and then also on the back I have sellotaped everything together. So this is my waggle and a waggle means what a good one looks like. So this is what we are going to be learning to make. So let's get started. So I'm just going to put that to one side. So the first thing boys and girls when we are making anything we have to make sure our sleeves are nicely rolled up. I've got no sleeves on. The other thing is, to, is great to do is pop on a t-shirt or an apron to make sure that you don't get yourself messy, especially if you are using paint. So I am quite okay using paint and remember not to get it on myself, but if you think at home that you might need to put something on, go and get something to put, your, to put over your clothes. So the first thing we're going to do, boys and girls, is we are going to get our paper plate and we are going to paint it. Now, if you don't have any black paint, that is fine. You are, you can use some colouring in pens or some colouring in pencils, and you just need to colour in the paper plate in black pen or black pencil. So you can do that. So don't worry if you don't have any black paint. I am going to, in my pot, I have got some black paint and I've got a paintbrush. So I am going to paint all over my plate until it is covered. Now, what we're going to do is you can either use a ruler to divide your paper into half or you can just fold it into half like I am doing. So I'm folding my paper into half and I'm pushing all the way down and then I have got two pieces of paper. The next thing, boys and girls, I'm going to do is I'm going to get my scissors, think, think, thumb on the top, two fingers at the bottom and I'm going to cut along that line. Remember, boys and girls, if you need any help with anything, ask your mummies and daddies to help you. So the next thing I'm going to do, boys and girls, is I'm going to get a piece of paper to put underneath and I'm going to paint one piece of the paper that we have cut. It looks like a rectangle because it has four sides. So one, two, three, four. And I want you to lay it sideways for me. And again, you can either colour this part in black pen or black pencil, or you can paint it in black, which is what I'm going to do. So the next part, boys and girls, we need to do is we need to get our other 
piece of paper, so we're not wasting any paper, and I want you to lay it sideways. And what we're going to need for this part, boys and girls, is a circle shape and a pencil and some colouring pens or pencils and a pair of scissors. So what you're going to do, boys and girls, you're going to get your circle shape, you're going to put it on flat, you're going to get your pencil, two fingers, two fingers together, finger and thumb, and two fingers behind. I'm going to put my hand on the circle lid and I'm going to draw all the way around. And we're going to do this two more times. So we have three circles all together. So one circle, two circles, and three circles. So I'm finished with that, so that can get put down. The next thing I'm going to do, boys and girls, is I'm going to get my three traffic light colours, which is red, yellow, and green. And we use red, yellow, and green because one means stop, one means get ready, and one means go. So I'm going to start with my red first. Finger and thumb nice and tightly at the bottom, two fingers behind, and I'm going to colour my first circle in. Remember boys and girls, make sure you stay in the line. So that's our red done, boys and girls. Make sure you put your lids back on. The next color I'm going to do is yellow. So lid on the top, finger and thumb, two fingers behind nice and tightly at the bottom. And I'm going to color in my yellow line. And that's my yellow light down, so I'll put the lid back on. The last one, boys and girls, is green. So lid on top of the pen again. Finger and thumb, nice and tightly. And that is our three traffic lights. So the next thing boys and girls we are going to do is get our pair of scissors and I'm going to put my thumb and my two fingers at the bottom, those two fingers, and we're going to cut these out. Now remember boys and girls, if you find this part a bit difficult, get ask your mummies and daddies to help you with this part and to be careful with your fingers. So my fingers are away and I'm going to start cutting my circle shapes. That are, those are my three colors, boys and girls, red, yellow, and green. Stop, get ready, and start. So the next part, boys and girls, we are going to do is we are going to put everything together. So I am going to get my paper plate, my rectangle, and the other part we need, boys and girls, is our ribbon. So what you need to do is if you've got a piece of string, it can be any color or ribbon, 
you're going to cut a piece off around about this long like that for our handle so and the other thing you're going to need boys and girls is some sellotape to put everything together so the first thing boys and girls we are going to need is our paper plate that's painted and nice and dry and a pair of scissors so I'm going to fold my paper plate in half push nicely down nice and hard and I am then going to cut along that line. I am then going to turn it over one side, turn it over another side, and I am going to get my long black painted rectangle and I'm going to put it down so the whole of it is white. I'm then going to get some sellotape, boys and girls. Now you might need someone to help you with this part. Get some sellotape, get your scissors, and cut some off. And what we're going to do is sellotape the top part and sellotape the bottom part. The other thing we're going to do while we are turned over is we're going to get our ribbon and we're going to turn it into like a hook shape like that. So if I turn it around this way so you guys can see. Like this. And then going to get some solid tape again. Get my scissors. Cut a long bit. Remember boys and girls to ask your mummies and daddies to help you with this part. And I'm then going to sellotape my ribbons down like that in a half circle hook shape. A bit like that. And that is our traffic light ready, boys and girls. So the next part we're going to do is we're going to stick our lights on. So do you remember the order? Red, yellow, green. So this part, boys and girls, you can use a piece of sellotape or you can use a glue stick. I'm going to use a glue stick, so I'm going to stick my colours on. Red. Just a little circle on the back. Yellow. And green. Put the lid back on your glue stick, boys and girls. And there you have it boys and girls, that is our traffic light made out of paper plates. That's really good. And you can hang it on your door or in your bedroom to show us that you have made it as a bit of decoration for your room. I know I'm going to hang it up somewhere in my house. So I hope you've had fun learning how to make a traffic light out of paper plates and I hope you guys give this a go at home too. Now, if you do have a go, could you please take a picture of it so me and the rest of the Beast and Fills team can have a look. We love seeing what crafts you make at home. So take care, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Bye.